Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about self-science certificate. Like we will see how, what's the purpose of self-science certificate and how to create a self-science certificate using OpenSSL. So let's start. So what is self-science certificate? A self-science certificate is a digital certificate that's not signed by a publicly trusted certificate certificate authorities. So for, for example, these are the basically uh, publicly trusted certificate authorities. Let's encrypt certificate authority, DigiCert certificate authority. These are the publicly trusted certificate authorities who basically uh, signed our certificate. So self-signed certificates are created, issued and signed by the company or developers who is responsible for the website or software associated with the certificate. So for example, we are developing one of the web applications and we want to test it over SSL. Like is, this, is it working or not? How it will respond if we will enable SSL on our uh, websites. So for that purpose, for internal purpose, for testing purpose, generally we use self-signed certificates. There are few important keywords which you will see when you create a certificate. Private key. So what is private key basically? So a private key also known as a secret key is a variable in cryptography that is used with an algorithm or assay to encrypt and decrypt the data. So what is RSA here? So RSA is called a, its form as reversed Samir Adelman is a publicly key crypto system that is widely used for secure data transmission. It is also one of the oldest. The acronym RSA, RSA comes from the surname of these three men, Ron Rivers, Adi Samir and Leonard Adelman, who publicly described the algorithm in 1977. So when we create a public key, basically it uses the algorithm, which is written by these guys. And it first uh, uh, they have like uh, introduced in 1977. So public key is typically a long randomly pseudo randomly generated sequence of bits that cannot be easily guessed. So basically these public keys are uh, in a size if I tell you it, it's like 1024 bit 2048 bits it long and it's a random unique numbers which like uh, hackers they cannot easily guess. So that's the purpose for security purpose we create these keys. Okay, so next we have certificate signing request CSR. So a certificate signing request is an encoded file containing information about your website, service, organization and the domain name. This information is used by the certificate authority to create a SSL and TLS certificate for your website to encrypt traffic to your websites. So basically whenever we send a request to certificate authority, we need to send the CSR file which is this is the encoded file which we send to the CSR sorry certificate 30 team so they will provide us a SSL or TLS certificate for our websites how to create a self-signed certificate so basically we need to follow these four steps to create a SSL certificates so first one is op uh, open SSL it's a basically utility which we need to install next we need to create a private key third we have a generate a CSR file and the CSR file with the help of the CSR file will generate a self and certificate. So we will see a uh, in demo. So from this particular URL, we will download the OpenSSL client. I'm using the Windows OS. So I'm installing for Windows operating system. So I have a 64 bit OS version. So I'll download for exe file for 64 bit version. I have already downloaded in my local system. So you can, uh, with the help of this URL, you can download or the CXC file and install it. So I have not installed it again. If we want to see if OpenSSL is installed or not, we can simply type the command OpenSSL. It's not recognized, means it's not installed. So we will install the OpenSSL in our local machine. So I have created one folder SSL and I have pasted the EXE file here. Now we will install it. We will run as an administrator. It's a very simple installation. You have to simply choose the path if you have to change from default to another location you can choose it next next or windows systems directories next and install so in few clicks basically you will install this open ssl client in your machines and you can uncheck this option and click on finish 
Now what we have to do? We have to set this path, OpenSSL path in the environment variable. So it's installed in program files, OpenSSL win. So this particular path, we have to specify in environment variables. So I'll go to my systems, advanced system settings. Okay, so here if you see path, we will edit it and we'll create a new one. So we'll just copy paste it here. Okay, and save it. Now if I'll again open my command prompt, I'll just close the previous one. If I type here open SSL, you can see these commands. It means uh, the open SSL is successfully installed on your machine. <laughs> so now I'll go back to my slide. So second step is generate a private key with the help of this command. So this is the size of key which we are specifying it 2048 bit. You can specify 1024 bit also. So I'm just using a 2048 bit. So I'll just copy this command. And I'll go to my command prompt. And uh, I have created one folder. Like you have to specify the location where you want to keep those files. Certificates files which we are going to create. So I'll go to my SSL folder. Okay, I'll just copy the path. Okay, so now I have to uh, run the second command. Will press enter. So it will ask for a password. So you have to give an, any strong password here. So I'll for this is just for a demo purpose. So I'm putting simple password. It will ask for confirmation again. So it's created the private key. If I go to my folder back, you can see server dot key because we have specified the key name here out server dot key you can specify any name whatever you like so if i'll edit this file you can see this unique random number of characters here basically so the size of this character should be 2048 now with the help of this key we will create a csr so we'll use this command here you can see we are specifying the key file server.key which we have created in step 2 and this will be our uh, certificate name server.csr sorry it's not certificate name it's a certificate signing request name basically the encoded file so I'll just copy this command It will ask for a password so it, you have to type here the same password which you have given in second steps okay so when you uh, enter the password it will ask you few details if you remember uh, in, if I go to uh, CSR slides you have to provide few of the details like website, service, organization, domain name. All you have to pass in this particular uh, location here. So it's asking for country name. I'm in India, so I'm typing IN. State of province name. Okay, here I will type state name. K. City name. I'll type any random. Organization name. Let's say demo. You have to provide a company name here. So I'm just putting some random things demo. Organizational unit name, I'll put IT, company name, or server FQDN, a fully qualified domain or your name. So here what I will do, I will put my host name. So if I type here, host name, because I don't have any domain name. So I'll just type my system name here. email address some random things i'll pass again test at the rate dot com 
or no it will ask for a, a challenge password so again you have to provide a new passwords it should be not be a same which you have given in the uh, during the private key creation so i'll type some random password company name if you have to provide i'll just put demo now it's created up a csr so if i go to my so it's created the certificate signing request so this file generally we send to the certificate authorities so if i edit this file it's all in the encoded format basically so you cannot read it but it contain the same uh, properties which we have passed in the command prompt so i'll just close this file now next step we have here then now we will generate a self sign certificate so i'll just copy this complete command and i'll paste it so here you can see uh, we are passing our uh, which we have created csr server.csr and we are using the server.key which we have created so now you have to pass again the password for the second step private key one which we have which we have passed so same password i'll use here now you can see it's created your certificates certificate request for self sign okay so if i'll again go back to my ssl folder i can see here certificate file so that's how you basically create a self sign certificate with the help of open ssl so that's all for today thank you so much see you in next lecture